Spookafte Fernwood. Spooky action at a distance. These are not words from a horror movie, but rather from considerably one of the world's most brilliant scientific minds, Albert Einstein. Did he happen to see Michael Jackson's thriller and call it spooky? No. In fact, he used these words to describe a quantum phenomenon called entanglement. Einstein could not wrap his head around the randomness and probabilistic nature of quantum physics. This created a disagreement between Einstein and Niels Bohr, one of the key people behind quantum physics at the time. So, who was right? In a 1945 letter, Einstein stated his belief about quantum mechanics by saying that God does not play dice with the universe. He firmly believed that quantum physics was not incorrect, but rather incomplete. That being said though, why did Einstein call entanglement spooky? You see, in quantum mechanics, particles have an indefinite state and are in a superposition of multiple states until you measure them as one state out of the others. When two particles are entangled, the act of measuring one particle has a direct influence on its counterpart without any regard of the distance between them. If you took a pair of entangled photons, selected any one of them, and brought it to the other end of the universe, measuring the first would still affect the other, regardless of the staggering distance of 46 and a half billion light years. This is what bothered Einstein. He thought that for there to be such a big correlation between two particles, it must require some sort of message containing information to be sent from the first place to the next. However, the effects of quantum entanglement become evident almost instantaneously. This meant that a message would be sent across the universe tens of thousands of times faster than what light could travel in one year. This bothered Einstein because he himself had proven that nothing carrying information can break the light speed barrier. Apparently, Einstein found this creepy, but personally, it makes me feel a bit rebellious. However, as unlikely as it may seem, quantum entanglement does not violate relativity. Measuring the state of one particle will not magically give you the state of the other. It is only that when you bring them together and compare your findings, is it evident that what state the second particle is in. Created using Powtoon.